In the news, FCTA Sales Ministry of Works, Merit House, FCC, others. Achi reappointed Prime Minister nearly seven days after resignation. Dealers threatened shut down over 15% levy in Nigeria. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. It's good to have you join us on TOS News 360. My name is Merciful Ajinomo. The Federal Capital Territory Authority has reportedly sealed off the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, located at Mabushi in Abuja, in a bid to recoup about 10 billion naira owed the Abuja Environmental Protection Board. Also affected is the popular Merg Plaza, located just opposite the UTC market at Area 10 Gariki, Merit House, and the Federal Character Commission, among others. And in Oshun State, the Governor Adegboe Gaoyetola has asked all political appointees with an ambition to contest in 2023 general election to resign their appointment. He said this in a statement titled, Notice to Political Appointees with Interest to Contest the 2023 general election, signed by the Secretary to State Government, Prince Uluwole Oyebamiji, obtained in Oshubo on Tuesday. A former Minister of Sport, Solomon Dalong, who served under President Mohamed Buhari's administration, has dumped the All Progressives Congress. Dalong submitted his letter of withdrawal dated April 1, 2022, and signed by him on Monday to the ward chairman of the party in Sabongida Ward, Langtang South Local Government Area of Plateau State. Members of the Islamic State of West Africa province terrorists have killed two soldiers and a policeman in a fresh attack on a military formation in Molai, Maduguri, Borno State. It was reported that a military source disclosed that the terrorists launched the attack in several gun trucks on Monday evening around 6 p.m. in an attempt to overrun the military formation. And Moscow launched dozens of airstrikes across eastern Ukraine overnight, its defense ministry said Tuesday, after Kyiv accused Russian forces of unleashing a major new offensive in the Donbas region. Russia's defense ministry said that high-precision air-based missiles had hit 13 Ukrainian positions in parts of the Donbass, while other airstrikes hit 60 military assets, including in towns close to the eastern front line. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. More global Africa business and sports stories on return. Stay with us. Thanks to Spain. Health officials across several countries in Europe and the US are investigating cases of a severe liver disease in children that was first identified in the United Kingdom. The European Center for Disease Prevention and Control said on Tuesday it had detected an unspecified number of cases of hepatitis or liver inflammation in Denmark, Ireland, the Netherlands and Spain. The United Kingdom last week said it had identified 74 severe cases since January and the U.S. said nine cases of acute hepatitis had been found in the state of Alabama. To news across Africa, Nigeria and Mauritius retained their seats for another four years in the United Nations Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights after a keenly contested election. CESCR is the body of 18 independent expert monitors implementation of the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights by its state parties. In 2021, Egypt and Morocco were elected to occupy two seats of the four for the African group. Ivorian Senate President Jainot Ahusu Kardawe has announced the appointment of Patrick Achi as the Prime Minister of Ivory Coast just a week after Achi resigned from the post. The Prime Minister's reappointment comes within hours of Ivory Coast President Alassane Ouattara announcing the appointment of Teemoko Melit Kone, the Governor of the Central Bank of West African State, as his Vice President. In business, as controversy continues to troll the introduction of 15% National Automobile Commission levy imposed on import-used vehicles by the Nigeria Customs Service, car dealers in the country have threatened to close their stores this week. 
The NTS has recently introduced a 15% national automobile commission levy on used imported vehicles, a decision which didn't go down well with clearing agents in the country's maritime sector. The agents argue that the NAC levy is mostly meant for new vehicles, questioning the rationale behind the introduction of duty on used vehicles. In sports, Barcelona suffered a 1-0 shock home La Liga defeat by relegation threatening Cadiz to leave leaders Real Madrid closer to clinching the Spanish title. Despite dominating possession in the first half on Monday, Barcelona could not find a opening and it was in fact Cadiz who had the best opportunity to take the lead in the first period as Lucas Perez sliced the ball wide off the far post from close range. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Mesafola Ginimo. Thanks for watching.